guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Welcome to your April reading. So Virgo, you are hard workers, dependable, loyal. Um, you are committed to long-term goals. You're all about groundedness, foundation, family, um, 3D reality. Okay, so I'm going to pull different cards from different decks. I'm using the Osho Zen for the overall energy. Oop, I just noticed that the moon card from a different reading was... Uh, left out. So, for the, let's use this um, Dorian Virtue for the present position. Um, John Holland Psychic Tarot. What did I say? Did I say present or past? Well, do Dorian Virtue past. Um, John Holland, Psychic Tarot for the present. So the John Holland, Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Let's use that for near future. Okay, so the enchanted map for the final outcome. Okay. So now we're moving into union energy. So crowning and foundation, fairy by Norman. And call it Baron Reed, wisdom of the oracle. This will be what both aspects, woo, are bringing into the union. Okay, so I'm just going to pause it to grab these cards. Okay, so to be fair, fell out, fell out upright on the masculine side. So uh, let's go ahead and keep these cards, I think. And so that's the masculine side. The feminine side, we'll save that for later. All right, and so for the heart-centered energy, we'll use my cards. Okay, and let me just give my deck here, my smaller deck, a little shuffle. And same thing on the masculine side. All right, so let's begin with the overall energy for the month of April. Two of Swords, schizophrenia, being caught in the mind, needing to make a decision. But the need is just to let go. Okay, so the person on this card brings a new twist to the old idea of getting stuck between a rock and a hard place. But we are precisely this sort of situation when we get stuck in the indecisiveness and dualistic aspects of the mind. Should I let my arms go and fall head first or let my legs go and fall feet first? Should I go here or there? Should I say yes or no? And whatever decision we make, we will always wonder if we should have decided the other way. The only way out of this dilemma is unfortunately to let go of both once at, at once. 
you can't you can't work your way out of this one by solving it making a list of pros and cons or in any way working it out in your mind better to follow your heart if you can find it if you can't find it just jump your jump your heart will start beating so fast there will be no mistake about where it is okay so Virgo you guys like to plan things you you want to follow protocols you know you guys love making lists right um, now the overall energy is to let go of that to just fall right and be the birds that are up there in the, in the sky flying around free so a decision needs to be made Sorry, my OCD is taking over. All right, so let's begin with the reading. So beginning in the past position, strength card, number 11 for the feminine side. Strength, grace through kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness. So the feminine is being represented as this angel. She is creating this warm space um, where you, you can be open, communicate, share your thoughts, your feelings. Okay, but so this is uh, an introverted energy going within. The Queen of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Crown Chakra. Wow. So what I, I'm seeing here is you discovering a truth in your power. Um, the Queen of Swords is an, somebody who speaks her mind, but she has mental clarity, right? She, she knows her truth. Um, there is a gentle nature to her as well because she is a queen which is water energy so there's an emotional side to her but she is more in the mind okay so you know you can't think your way out of this one you know don't overanalyze the situation now the seven of wands is the king of the hill right this is not giving up not surrendering fighting uh, to keep your position but it is all about confidence so it's an extroverted energy, an extroverted power. Remember, this is an introvert. Um, the future position is the crown chakra. So there's this mental clarity that turns into an all-knowing. This card means I know. It's, it's a thought, but consciousness, not necessarily thought itself. It's consciousness. So what I see here is... The sense of needing to control a situation, um, to fight a situation, to, to, to gain this power, and you're doing it through, um, you're doing it in a way that wasn't helping a situation. And from that lesson, you discovered your true power comes from within, from um, being gentle and loving and kind. Okay, so this led to some major illumination. We came to an understanding. Now, the Queen of Swords could be an air sign, but I, I feel this is a feminine energy moving from an um, unemotional to an incredibly gentle and it, it's from going within. It's, it's instead of overpowering somebody, you're relenting. Um, so the past position for the masculine, divide guidance. Wow. So the search of, for meaning in life, considering an alternative approach, surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Um, so the masculine is either being divinely guided or he is the spiritual leader. Um, help, you know, helping the world to discover some truths, guide them. Three Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. So the Three Cups past position is the ignition of love. It's a creation of love and celebrating that love. Union energy. Ten of Pentacles is long-term vision manifested. You guys are all about that, right? You want to know that this um, connection is going to be long-term. So the Ten Pentacles is like retirement energy. Um, and there's a strong sense of family here, right? Um, you come from strong fami 
family, uh, oh my God, family bonds. And this is what you want for your kids, for your future. Everyone to be happy, celebrating life. Um, so, you know, this could be you creating this stability in your life long term because of this spiritual connection, right? There's a, a, these two cards are about the vibe tribe, um, connecting with like-minded people. So the Eight of Wands in the future position is accelerated motion, stepping on the gas. Um, it's also communication, Cupid's arrows, right? So there will be a manifestation. This energy will come to you, and it's because of spirituality. You are on the right path. It's a very, very strong message that I'm picking up here. So the present position is nice, the Divine Feminine. There you guys in your um, full embodiment of the Queen of, or not the Queen, sorry, the, the Goddess of Earth energy, right? The Empress is all, all about Earth, stability, groundedness, and she's manifestation. And also very important is she is um, the nurturer she grows that seed of intention. So, you know, it grows to its fullest potential. So again, creating that environment, but it's also about discovering your authenticity as well. Two of Wands, Five of Wands, King of Swords. Two of Wands past position is an expansion of the mind, seeing all the possibilities, seeing your connection to the universe. So we see that door opening, right? major realization. The Five of Wands is overcoming challenges and obstacles. So there we got that, that, that fight happening with an air energy, or it's a struggle, right? So finding your confidence. Um, the King of Swords in the, the future position, we've got the King and Queen of Swords um, con making that connection on the feminine side. Now, the King of Swords is completely emotionally detached, all about the mind. Now, I don't want this to be the feminine's energy. What we want is her to be the high priestess. So this has got to be the, the masculine energy. Um, but I feel that, you know, there's this door that is opened. You are there. You're waiting to embrace the masculine. Even though there are some challenges to the connection, you're not seeing it as so overwhelming as the Seven of Wands that you have to keep fighting to keep yourself in that position. These are minor challenges. Um, so the King of Swords is coming in the future. So this could be, you know, he is the ultimate communicator. He is the ultimate um, clarity of mind. He cuts away barriers. He takes action. So this energy could be coming to you, or you could be embodying it in, in order to say the things that are on your mind, perhaps. Are you able to see those cards okay? All right. So the present position for the masculine, nine of cups, fulfillment of wishes. So the masculine side really feels that his dreams can come true. Everything that his heart's desired is a possibility. And so this, he feels satisfied. You know, and both of these cards, we see this masculine energy, these cute little hats, facing forward, you know, feeling this divine guidance and um, believe, you know, believing in destiny. So the Eight of Wands is that uh, Nine of Cups wish granted, that intention he sent out to the universe is returned tenfold. Wow, Heart Chakra. Six of Wands. Nice, the yin. That's why he's so freaking happy. Look at all this cheering and love. So he felt this deep love in the past. And, you know, again, the Nine of Cups is about celebrating. So we're bringing that celebration once again from the past. Um, cheering, the Six of Wands is celebrating. Um, you're the rock star. So much positive energy. And it's because the Divine Feminine is coming in the future. This is where it's all leading. The Yin. Cool synchronicity that we're getting the Divine Feminine in the present position. Except for this is more of a future present. Okay, so the near future position. 
nine of wands of rest and reconsideration. So here we've reached that climax, right? So it's, it went from the seven to the five and now it's grown to the nine. So this is a moment of, you know, taking a time out. You put in a lot of work and effort and now it's time to rest and reconsider. So why are you reconsidering? The Fool, the Four of Pentacles, and the Universe. Wow. So we have the beginning of the Fool's journey, starting from zero. So you took a leap of faith, right? And you've been on that journey for a long time. You're just taking a time out to think about a situation. Um, you know, we have this Four of Cups here, which is the same kind of energy that's being represented. You know, this person's looking out the window. Um, this person's looking at the past. They're both looking at the past. Same stance, same kind of um, outward stare. Quite the opposite of this energy. This energy is being in zero point. There's nothing specific that, you know, there's no vision um, that he's attached to. He's just taking a leap of faith and trusting in destiny. Um, so the Four of Cups is disconnect, feeling like things aren't moving, feeling like things didn't work out maybe because of something you did or, you know, wanting to fix the past. So the future position is the universe card, which is the end of the fool's journey. So the final piece of the puzzle is about to be placed in the future, near future, future. So, you know, this is um, acknowledgement from the universe that you completed the cycle. Don't give up. You're almost there is the message of the Nine of Wands. And it's acknowledge acknowledgement of um, how you're feeling, I guess. So if you're having, you know, second thoughts, don't give up. There's a sense that there's this major ending in the future. So the near future for the masculine, feeling alone, feeling disconnected. Um, I feel that wanting to bridge that gap. The universe card, page of wands, and the seven of cups. Okay, so the universe card, same card that's coming in the future over there, but this one's coming from the past. So feeling like you've placed that final piece, your wishes, your dreams you have come true. You've completed this major journey. You know, the Ten of Pentacles. Um, now, the Page of Wands is a very similar energy to the Fool, right? Beginning a new adventure, right? So he needs to complete something in order to start a new. Now, the future position is the Seven Cups. So this is knowing what you want, not knowing how to get there. So it's, it's very reminiscent of this energy. It's like standing there looking out. So the energy is no longer facing forward. It's looking out, wanting to bridge that gap wanting to reconnect, but not knowing how to get there, but excited about um, this new beginning. All right, so I'm going to leave the final come to later. We'll move into the union energy. So to be fair is what the masculine is bringing in. Okay. Balance, justice, a need to consider options, mutual benefit, the law of cause and effect. Life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing. Yet over time, they strike a balance. You move from being, from stasis to doing, from discovering to loving, to letting go, to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all of these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are, this, move, this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment, and you'll see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause, there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. So in terms of the union, he feels that everything is in balance. You can feel that balance. Another cute little hat there. Right, everything is symmetrical and balanced in terms of this union. 
he knows who his divine feminine is, but he doesn't know how to get to that point. The Seven of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Two of Swords. Wow, the sword energy. So another air cork card. So the past position, Seven of Swords. Um, this is feeling like you're being deceived, you're being lied to, um, you're not being told the entire truth. So not sure where this energy is coming from. I don't feel that vibration. Um, just, you know, wonder if you made the right choices, I guess. I don't know. But then the Page of Swords is that um, clarity, that mental clarity, knowing, having ideas and cutting through to the truth. Now, it's also a very important communication card. Um, now, the future position is the Two of Swords. Wow. So it's the same card that's the overall energy, being stuck at a cross purpose. But there's this balance there. You know, there's, you think he made a choice, he understands his, you know, putting these things in the past. I don't know. I think he wants to regain that balance. That's his motivator, right? To make what was wrong right, speak the truth, um, bring harmony back into the union. So... You know, and okay, so that Seven of Swords energy could be coming from the Queen of Swords. All right, some kind of cutting communication. I don't feel anything negative, really, though. This is just basic line fears, knowing what you want, but actually taking that leap of faith and going forward. All right, he's standing there, waiting for a new adventure with the Page of Wands, standing there considering his options with the Seven of Cups, but... We got that Two of Swords conflicted indecisiveness in the future. Um, you already took a leap of faith, uh, the feminine. And, you know, there's that final, place, uh, final piece of the puzzle being placed in the future. I think you're just in a rested state. You're, you're ready to embrace the masculine, not um, letting obstacles you know, stand in your way. You're just good to go. But again, there's a sense of you needing rest. I don't know. Okay, let's move on. Uh, so the feminine, what is she bringing into the union? Interesting. So treasure island in reverse. Okay. So the law of attraction, bringing dreams into fruition, the result of positive thinking made manifest, abundance appearing as if from nowhere, financial gains and the sharing of good fortune. Okay. So that abundance, the universe energy, um, that is coming to you in the future. No, this is in reverse. Okay, so poverty consciousness and a sense of not enough casts a shadow on your path okay there we go so that shadow but i feel that's more coming from the masculine i don't know okay let's carry on these ideas and core beliefs come at a high cost do you really want to proclaim yourself as a victim of disappointment and failed expectations are you avoiding success because you will grow so tall that others will want to cut you down or is it possible that you you're cut Oh my gosh, you're caught in a fear that you will lose what you've acquired. So you hold on so tight that you miss the opportunity to expand. Okay, the, the Four of Cups there in the near future, that is an, also a missed opportunity card. Your challenge to change the way you see the world and move from a perception of limitation to a perception of abundance. Okay, so we see that perception of limitation with the Seven of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Nine of Wands. Um, so you are transitioning through that energy, right? You're trying to shift your perspective. Um, take a risk, for you have nothing to lose except your commitment uh, in a prison of your own making. Open the door and find the abundance waiting for you to claim it. Okay, so the door was open. I, there's a sense that you just need to walk through it. The Ten of Wands. Yang and the Queen of Pentacles interesting so 
The Ten of Wands past position, this is collapsing and exhaustion. So in terms of this union, you've been tossing and turning. That's where all this fire energy is coming from. Obstacles, taking on responsibility, right? So you're giving too much of yourself. The Yang um, in the present position, in terms of the union, you feel that he's your treasure island, right? You recognize him as your divine masculine. He comes to know that in the future. Now, this card is all about authenticity. So you are projecting this authentic energy. You know you are the divine feminine. You know who your divine masculine is. You want this happily ever after Ten of Pentacles manifested. Now, the Queen of Pentacles means just that. There is that abundance, that sense of fulfillment, manifestation that is coming in the future. So it's all a matter of perspective. You already have it all. The, the masculine felt that way, that he had it all, but he's losing his confidence. I don't know. Okay, so uh, at the foundation is, there you go. Oh my God, crossroads. You got two choices. Okay, crossroads, future, overall energy, taking that step forward, closing the gap, coming together one card each nine of swords and ace of swords okay so the ace of swords is making a decision he already knew the truth in the past uh this is a very triumphant card i'm making a decision i'm doing this okay so we have that confidence now the choice may have been made to let go of any fears with the seven of swords right um now, the Nine of Swords is what the Feminine's bringing in. Very interesting to see that. So, Nine of Swords is worry, guilt, fear, inability to sleep, nightmares, night terrors. And you can see that struggle with the Ten of Wands. See that struggle of the mind with the Seven of Wands um, and the Queen of Swords. So, you've been, the Feminine has been worrying way too much about this union. Um, even though there's a deep knowing about it, you're still taking on too much burden. So put the wands down and look after yourself. Now this is coming in from the past, but it, it's showing up as a foundation energy. So it is important not to get lost in the mind again. I feel that you're coming out of that, but you're still taking on too much burden. Um, so that's where that King of Swords could come from, that mental clarity, right? making that decision, taking action. The crowning energy is transition, transformation. So this is moving from one state to another. And you can see that duality happening. You know, it's like, again, a sense of closing that bridge, that gap. But it's rebirth, turning into something new as a crowning energy. This is what you both desire. So the justice and the base chakra okay so base chakra you know virgo you guys are all about safety and security you, you want to make sure your your basic needs are being met you want to feel grounded and secure and none of what i'm seeing in terms of the union feels secure there you're always at a crossroads you know the shared union energy there's a sense of everything still being up in the air so you want to feel safe and secure you want to know that if you're let go of the reins or, or surrender to this transformation that everything's going to work out. Um, you want this transformation. You want that decision to be made now. The masculine is bringing in the justice card, which is karmic law. What you put out, you get back. So he wants justice to be served. He wants justice. He wants balance to be re rebalanced. <laughs> He wants to restore balance. Okay, I just need to clear my throat. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting over my cold. Okay. So the final outcome... No, actually, we're moving into the heart-centered energy. Wow, perspective shift. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's exactly what I see happening here, right? It's like movement from... Um, a thinking mind to conscious mind 
um, letting go of control, surrendering, um, but seeing the positive side of life, right? So should I shuffle? Oh, yeah, okay. To remove any doubt. Okay, so the card just fell out. I'm just going to leave it down there. All right, so one card for the masculine, five of pentacles, and the feminine, ten of cups. Wow. So the five of pentacles, same card. In terms of the union, he feels disconnected. He feels alone. He's, you know, at that crossroads. But his perspective is shifting, but more to that lonely state in the near future, desiring to close that gap. So that you're bringing in the ten of cups feminine. That happily ever after, you feel this peace and harmony. You feel that this can be manifested into the 3D reality, but you want to turn it upright, right? So again, perspective shift. All right, final outcome. Wow, rock bottom. So I'm really feeling that rock bottom with the Ten of Wands, the Ten in the future. There's like, we got that completion with the universe, that completion with the King, the Crown Chakra. The Nine um, turns into the Ten. Again, the Nine turns into the Ten. So there's this sense of completion um, happening. Again, with the Treasure Island, very strong on the feminine side. Okay, well, let's see what this card says. Um, so surrender and acceptance are the keys to freedom. Okay, so pointing to that perspective shift, that's all about surrendering and letting go of control. Um, as difficult as it may be to accept, it seems that you've reached a point where you can go no further in the same manner in which you've been doing things. Perhaps you've hit a proverbial brick wall or experienced a deep sense of loss and don't know where to turn. The old way of doing things must be discarded fully in order to move onward and upward. A new direction, there you go, there's that shift in perspective again, and a new strategy are called for. The only way out is to surrender, okay, so the only way out is to let go and fall. Um, accept things as they are and admit that you have no idea what is next. If you wait that heart for that, in that heartfelt moment of release, then a stairwell will appear like magic and all manner of synchronicities will show you the way to higher ground. The rock bottom card is a sign that a miracle is about to occur, but only if you let go and comp let go completely. There you go. That message of letting go, letting go of needing to make a decision, letting go of responsibility to control an outcome. And when you let go, that staircase opens up. Cool. Five of Cups, Nine of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. Five of Cups, past position, mourning, loss, pain. Um, you let that go. You move on. I'm not going to spend any time on that because it turns into the Nine of Cups in the present position. Same card, his present position. So this is the final outcome, right? This is dreams fulfilled, feeling emotionally satisfied, celebrating, and who brings it? The King of Pentacles, the 3D King. Where's the Queen of Pentacles? Aren't you there? Oh yeah, here's the Queen of Pentacles in the future with the King of Pentacles. That 3D manifestation of that long-term goal. Boom. Again, a King coming in the future. Still, we don't see the Divine Masculine being represented yet. So it's the final outcome for the masculine side. Goblin. So he's got to go through that goblin forest in order to make it to the other side. It's a scary walk, right? Voices in his head. That's where all these thoughts are coming from. Fear is an illusion. Choose love today. Forgive yourself and others. 
Goblins are born when we're wounded, and something essential is lost in that experience. From that point on, as you forget your wholeness, they remain with you in the shadows. There, they remind you of what brought them into being by mimicking your voice, tricking you into believing that you're unworthy, victimized, or unlovable. They hold you hostage through low self-esteem, self-sabotage, and the feeling that you're lacking what you need. If goblins pay you a visit, know that they represent the shadow of your own self or someone else's, and they are leading you into a potentially reactive situation. A goblin's card's appearance is an opportunity for growth, however, and a signal that you must love yourself. No human is without flaws. The goblin's message is that you must release resentment and negative self-talk. Within you is a spark of divine. Ask spirit to help heal you. Miracles can and do happen. Let go of negativity. So that self-talk, that seven of swords, right? That's what's keeping you locked at that crossroads. Just go for it. Okay, so the moon, wow, the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, awesome. Synchronicity, Nine of Cups in the future. So the moon is facing your fears. All those voices whispering in your, your ear, the subconscious mind. So you faced the fears in the past. Okay, and now there's this opportunity, a gift from the universe. Um, that seed of intention being placed and growing, it has the opportunity to f f like fully manifest as a Ten of Pentacles. So I see you going for it. And there's, you know, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. The Nine of Cups, wish granted, wish fulfilled. But you got to take that, ch that chance, S you know, face those fears, your demons. Shift your perspective to more uplifting, positive vibration, not fear and loneliness. So it's all about the mind for you, Virgos. All right, so let's pull two cards from Miss and Mermaids. Final message from the universe. Feminine first, masculine. So the feminine got a certain slant of light, interesting, and the masculine, sea beasties, yes, makes sense, okay, 28, okay, so from the darkness there emerges illumination deemed divine, feckless searching terminated by insight most sublime, from despair and confusion erupts another form of sight, lucidity, all resulting from a certain slant of light. A pensive mermaid lies in a grassy pond waiting for an answer to come to her. A grand light shines above, illuminating her and surrounding her in a moment of divine insight and understanding. That's what I was feeling with that crown chakra. And the universe, the king of swords, divine insight, right? Instead of being at that uh, indecisive energy. Um, so the meaning is illumination is coming. Darkness and confusion are commonplace in this world. But do not worry. Illumination is coming in the form of, an, of a new way of viewing your environment or situation. Some call it divine insight, other enlightenment. Either way, be prepared for a new perspective. A sudden shift in thinking will arise from uncovering of unknown facts, opinions, and desires. These new points will help you understand where you are now and help you to answer some questions you've, that have been gnawing at you for some time now. Be prepared, though. The illumination may be subtle and easy to miss. Keep your eyes open and your spirit curious so that you don't miss out on the illumination you have been long waiting for. There you go. That illumination is coming. You've been tossing and turning, thinking about stuff, right? That illumination will come. All right, number eight. Here in the murky depths we dwell, trapped in darkness like a jail, right? You create your own jail. Um, obscured by she who holds the key, yet chooses not to lift the veil. Our cl clandestine existence can, our shadows no longer condone. Buried deep we wait, we sleep, unknowable or just unknown. 
A strange maiden in a tentacled headdress fixes her sightless gaze straight ahead, unaware of a bizarre creature uh, surrounding her at the bottom of the, of the deepest sea. Be aware of deeply buried thoughts and desires, is the message. Lately, you have felt some unfamiliar... Ah, oh my God, Mercury retrogrades, screw you. Okay, so lately you have felt some unfamiliar stirrings from thoughts and desires buried deep below the surface. Okay, there's that Seven of Swords. These elements of self may be things you have forgotten or they may be things you have intentionally ignored or unconsciously re repressed. However, they are still there and it is time to acknowledge their existence. These ideas and emotions, perhaps even fears, may be difficult to retrieve or recall, but don't worry. Nothing is impossible, and the more you concentrate on becoming self-aware, the better you become at understanding these hidden places of your personality. Okay, so perspective shift, right? Searching for those answers. Why am I feeling this way? Moving through the goblin forest, right? Realizing they're just fears, they're just thoughts. So, wow, the Nine of Cups dreams fulfilled, guys. That's awesome. Okay, so I do hope this helped you guys, and I'm sending massive love your way. Cheers.